on every new project where it's a brand new building coming out of the ground, the MEP engineer has to talk to the civil engineer. It's a point of getting the utilities from the utility provider across the lot to the building and into and out of the building in the right location. So that, that interaction between the MEP engineer and the civil engineer has to happen and it has to happen well. So it makes sense for an MEP engineer and a civil engineer to be in the same house. Along the same lines with civil and MEP being under the same umbrella, clients appreciate having one person to, to, to go to. Uh, they don't have, if, if anything ever went wrong, you wouldn't have to point the finger at a civil engineer or at an MEP engineer, you could just say, you need to fix it. Uh, and I, that, that's a big seller for a lot of people. And that's why design build even got to be big because a contractor can, or an owner can just point to one contractor and say, you fix it because you're responsible for the whole thing. So on a smaller basis, it's, it's great that we can offer civil engineering as well as the MEP because then we are handling all the utilities for the building throughout the site.